So I just came across something very interesting. The word fridge has the letter D in it, even though the full term refrigerator does not. Now, why is that? Well, I think I figured that out. Because see, if you put this into an equation, fridge equals refrigerator, all you have to do is just cross out the like terms, just like this, and then you're left with D. And D is equal to what is left over on this side, A-T-O. And then, and then if you switch the order around, because you can do that in math, it's T-A-O, tau. And tau is a letter of the Greek alphabet, which, if uh, translated to English, and in mathematical terms, means 2 times pi. And 2 times pi in numerical terms is 6.28. And that is an even number. Now, you may be asking, why am I pointing out that this is an even number? Well, let's just look back here. Fridge, it has six letters in it, and six is an even number. And refrigerator has 12 letters in it. That is also an even number. Now, the thing about 12 is that it also means dozen in English. I don't know why, but that's just what that is. So yeah. Now let's just go back to even really fast. One thing that you're probably going to notice is that there are two E's, which is an even amount of E's. Two, right? So let's so, so now let's just take those two E's and think back to one of the most famous math equations ever by one of the most famous scientists in the world, Einstein. E equals mc squared. So because E is already in fridge and refrigerator, you know we can cross that out. And plus it's there and there. But yeah, it's besides the point. Now we're left over with with E. Now now we're left over with m times c squared. And when there are t when there's nothing on this side, then this whole thing just becomes a whole complicated mess. And so we don't like complicated, which begins with C, so we can just cross that out. So now we're just left with M, which is matter. All right? So great. Now, how does this answer my question? Why is there D in fridge, even though there's not in refrigerator? Well, I'm here to tell you. It doesn't even matter, because the English language is stupid anyway.